Me with host Vivian Velez is a program that breaks down important national concerns, events, and stories, featuring newsmaker interviews and compelling features to add context, clarity, and answer the questions on your mind. Every Sunday from 5 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. on Radio Bandito TV, Channel 224 Sky Cable, TV Plus Boxes, GMA Afforda Box, Easy Box, and all DTT Boxes. Simulcast on DZRJ 810 AM. Seen on Facebook slash DZRJ 810 AM and YouTube channel DZRJ 810 AM Radio Bandido. Sunday rainy afternoon still. Uh, magandang hapon po and on air, she chat, of course, with Vivian Velez, myself, and my co-host, Raymond Diamson. Hi, Mon. Yeah, Hi, Vivian. Magandang hapon. Magandang hapon sa lahat ng ating mga kachicha at sa isang maulan na namang gabi. <laughs> Ayan. At uh, how are, ano, ano ang nangyari sa'yo kahapon dito kay uh, Paeng? Oo nga, eh, actually, uh, ng Saturday, we were supposed to uh, uh, attend a Halloween party sa BGC sa Taguig. And, uh, uh, well, of course, hindi na natuloy yun. And, uh, nakaka, nakaka, ano nga, bibs, medyo, ano, uh, parang, medyo kinalibutan ako kasi uh, yung Halloween party na yon sa BGC was supposed to be, as usual, jam-pack siya kasi first time na mag-Halloween party ng mga tao. So, excited sila. And then on that same time, nabalitan ko nangyari sa sa Seoul, yes. sa Korea, yes. no? Grabe din, mga nag-Halloween party doon. 149 ang namatay. Grabe, and marami pang aakit pa doon yung bilang na yun. And, uh, it's very uh, terrible. And our prayers go to them talaga. Yeah, it was a, it's a sad day. And uh, yesterday too, dahil da, dati sa atin sa typhoon, uh, you know, yes. rising din ang ating death, no? Uh, mm-hmm. uh, due to flood, uh, 71, you know, that that was the last uh, na naipulat nila was about 71. And um, mm-hmm. really, I mean, I, it was unexpected in a way kasi medyo hindi naman nag-hit land, uh, you know, uh, in Mindanao ang ating typhoon, no? Pero yung sheer, uh, you know, the, the the big, yung malaking uh, system ng paeng. But anyway, mm-hmm. uh, nakikiramay po kami doon sa mga namatayan and uh, hopefully uh, mabigyan sila ng tamang uh, ayuda no? doon at uh, yung mga um, infrastructure ng mga nasira doon. Anyway, uh, ito po, it's going to be an interesting Sunday uh, dahil dito po sa Undas coverage natin, uh, Monch, and thank you to you again. At... Uh, <laughs> Uh, si Monj kasi po ang nag-iisip po ng ating mga <laughs> topics, you know, for Sundays. And, uh, you know, he comes up with great topics talaga and, uh, you know, interesting topics. And Monj, hindi na natin papatagalin dahil marami akong tanong dito sa ating guest. Uh, can you do the honors, please? In yes, before. Oo. Oh, oh. Actually, ano, naka- nakakatawa nga, Bibs, kasi today is our last uh, topic for the month for the month of Halloween and uh, happy Halloween sa iyo at sa lahat ng ating mga nakikinig. <laughs> Inipa, may mga gusto may mga gusto mang bumati sa iyo eh. Ayan, sa siya. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ito pa. Tata <laughs> tawag ako. I don't know if it was before broadcast ano? kung niloloko ako ng aking husband. Ah uh, nandito kasi ako sa Oh my god. Ako dito ako sa aking pa. Sa mga nakuha yan. Tinaloko niya ako na dito ako sa aking sa aking podcast. So, I mean, that, in in my own room and and uh, you know, biglang tinatakot niya ako, sinisitsitan niya ako. Yung mga ganun siya sa akin. Kasi alam niya ako ano yung alam niya ako ano yung pag-uusapan natin today. So, takot takot niya na ako. Sa so, mga nakuha yung mga dolls, mga budo dolls ba 'yan? <laughs> Hindi, ano to, babes, mga parang living dead dolls. Ano siya, nak- kinokollect ako siya, uh, oh tapos may likas ako sa mga kat- katatakotan. Si ano to, si Linda Bjerg's Exorcist. <laughs> tapos ito si Balak. The dark, the dark, Ayan, side, Balak. The dark side po of Raymond. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Nilalabas ko lang sila tuwing Halloween kasi para decoration ba, parang gano'n. And uh, 
Marami tayo pag-uusapan tungkol dyan, mga kachichat at vibes. Alam ko, ano, medyo matatakotin ka. Opposite tayo, di ba? Sabi mo last episode natin, umiiwas ka. Ako naman, win you welcome ko. <laughs> yes! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Oh. Uh, ayan, so parang ang ating masusunod na guest ay uh, isa siyang uh, nagpa-practice siya ng esoteric art. So when you say esoteric, ito yung kakaiba, konti lang talaga exclusive, pagkatapos ano lang siya, um, for special group okay. lang, yes. And uh, he, he's been into psychism, mediumship, and paranormal investigation during his early years. At may 12 years din siya experience sa Reiki healing. So Reiki master na siya and teacher at nakapag-mentor sa napakadaming practitioners. Devoted din siya ng La Santissima Muerte at uh, nagpo-provide siya ng uh, uh, guidance sa mga uh, taong nalilito at saka na, naliligaw na landas through tarot card reading. Card command sila man ang tawag dyan. Yan ang ating mga pag-uusapan uh, kasama ang ating susunod na uh, ating uh, guest ano, for today. Ayan. So, yes. Ima- yes. Please yes. welcome Mr. J.L. Manalili. Yes. Hi, J.L. HL, on come na po tayo. Ayan. Hi. Thank you for coming. <laughs> Hello po, good afternoon. Hi, JL. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Kamusta po kayo? Kamusta na? Medyo ang uh, ang ating topic is really, ex- uh, you know, interesting really because yeah. I really haven't met anyone anyone like you. Uh, kasi usually... Uh, Uh, well, mga napapanood ko lang yan, Monch, no? napapanood ko yan. Mm. At, uh, you know, the close, the closest that I get into into this, yung mga mediums, is yung ano, ano na yon yung board? What do you call Uy, that board? board? Yung Ouija board. Oo, oh, 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 di ba? Natakot-natakot oh. din ako. And, uh, <laughs> you know. So, uh, let me ask you this first. How did you get into this? Well, Um, hindi kasi ako ano eh, hindi ako inborn psychic or I'm not into that before talaga no until one time I just discovered um, I wanted to be a paranormal investigator I wanted to be a psychic you know um, hanggang sumali ako sa groups and they trained me na ang dami ko na natutunan and excels I mean, nagkaroon ng soul searching if this is really for me if if ito ba talaga eh Uh, kind of uh, mission in life. So, from there, yun, paranormal investigation into psychism, reading cards, and dumating ako sa point na nag heal na rin ako ng, ng uh, tao. Okay. Healing? Mm-hmm. Oo. So, so, nung bata ka pa, ano, JL, hindi ka, mahilig ka ba talaga sa katatakutan or do you have anything may third eye, ganon, yung mga ganong klase yeah. qualities growing up? Are you gifted? Yan. Well, nung bata ko hindi eh. Um, una, yeah. matatakotin ako. <laughs> Pangalawa, hindi ako nakakita ng, ng kung ano-ano. Kasi before, mga mga friends natin, may mga ganon eh. May mga horror stories ang mga childhood friends natin. Ba't ako hindi eh? Normal. Normal na naglalaro lang, nag-aaral lang. That's it. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. What was the turning point? Uh, kung bakit ka nag, ano, nag-change na... No. yung uh, decision to pursue this career? Una kasi curiosity lang talaga eh. Until such point yeah. that um, nung, nung nagkaroon na ng training and uh, I felt that uh, nagbukas or na-activate yung uh, third eye chakra ko or yung energy natin na we are able to see uh, the unseen, the unseen world and yung mga friends natin na spirits or entities na nasa paligid. And at the same time, nakakatulong ka eh sa, sa living and undead na, na spirits. Pero tatanong ko sa'yo, JL, uh, you, when you talk about what you were in parang esoteric arts, so do you also uh, draw or do you... Uh, do esoteric arts this would be probably symbols, di ba? Arts that, that mean something. Uh, okay. Uh, go ahead. Ang esoteric arts kasi are practices of magic, magic with a K. Um, there are like weekends or pwede ka rin gumagamit ng candle magic or di- different rituals that can help you or others um, alleviate po ano laman problema nila or imbalance nila sa buhay. 
Okay, kasi may tanong ko yan, Monch, because when, uh, kala ko yung arts, kasi meron talaga mga esoteric arts that that, that you see that it does, hindi mo alam na mamanipulate ka na nung art, di ba? That it has a symbol and it has some uh, uh, some some other meanings to it. Oo. Totoo, tama, tama, tama yan. Uh-oh. And GL, ano, uh, paano ka napunta sa devotion sa Lantis, La Santissima Muerte? Ito yung ano, no, parang... Uh, God of the Dead, tama ba? Or can you translate um, okay. it to us? Hmm. Yung, yung word na La Santissima Muerte means um, the most holy death. Uh, we na venerate naman siya sa Mexico, eh, ang tawag naman sa kanya ay Saint Death. So, um, parang sa, sa esoteric arts, until naghahanap ka ng mga deities, you're working with other spirits, until I found yung, yung comfort ko with uh, La Santissima Muerte or yung may kita natin na yung usual figure niya is kamatayan. Yeah. Siya so yung, yun. But, ay, siya ba yung kasi yung nagkagano ng kamatayan? Yes, 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 yes. Ganun ang, ganun ang figure niya. But what I felt dun sa energy kasi ni La Santissima Muerte or the most holy death is very motherly and very protective yon sa mga devotee niya. Actually, Bibs. Some, yes. Go ahead. Alam mo, Bibs, if uh, before nung before ano meron ganyan tradition sa Pilipinas eh pag may procession hindi ba JL pinoprocession din si Santisima Muerte uh, well, he's, he's part of the of the entourage ng mga santo and then kasama siya doon yung talagang ano siya kalang sa siya and then made damit and then yun uh, that meron din mga nang didevote talaga sa kanya yes oh uh, 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 ko lang you know <laughs> medyo very interesting din sa akin ano because when we talk about uh, these things it's it's when we talk about death um we always uh, connote death with something that is of course scary or something that is medyo uh, you know uh, dark on the dark side and something that we're not supposed to be uh, playing around with, di ba? Parang mga ganyan. But others naman, like myself, of course, I do uh, I do fear death, but uh, it is something that you have to embrace because as I said the last time, everyone is going to die somehow, right? Yeah. And, uh, and it is really how you die and how you accept death. Uh, with this... Um, Hindi naman siya dark, right? I mean, uh, uh, when you were embracing this uh, this uh, belief, was it dark for you? Is it something dark for you? Or it is something that is, you're going on a next level to your journey to God? What, what is it to you? How, do, how What yeah. does it mean to you? Yeah, exactly. In your second part, it brings you to a different dimension. Yung, yung soul mo yeah. will be able to ascend easily and kasi because ang connotation natin it, ng, ng death is end eh. but yeah. death for me and especially the devotees of uh, last and Dizimo Muerte death is change death is light and death is something to renew your spirit and your soul yes mm-hmm. oh, oh, kasi I, you know early on uh, Monch I've, I've uh, you know major you know really philosophically uh, thinking about it, it's really how you accept it. And uh, sa third, sa, sa, uh, sa Eastern religion, they were even saying that, uh, you know, when you prepare, you're prepared and, uh, you, I mean, your spirit, uh, uh, pagka prepared ka for your next death and uh, that means uh, mas maganda ang magiging transition mo to, uh, to wherever you're going, you know. As a Christian, of course, you're going to uh, to see uh, your creator, no? Uh, iba-iba kasi mga religion. And um, the, can you go, can you take us through that process somehow, just just a little bit brief, uh, in acceptance of death? Kasi dyan talaga maraming natatakot, di ba? Maraming uh, walang acceptance, lalo na pag you know, you are on uh, yung, yung matagal na illness, di ba, Monch, na mat- may sakit ka, may cancer ka, meron ka ano, and then sometimes they give you parang deadline na, sabihin sa'yo na hanggang dito ka lang, you know, three months to leave and things like that. And then the, how do you pre- prepare yourself? Oo. Well, it's a hard question, ha? Kasi... <laughs> <laughs> kasi pero ano mo um, walang one answer walang, walang, walang ano kasi even even though I'm young I know to myself that meron lahat ng soul natin is may pupuntahan eh 
And I believe that if you are um, doing good, of course, with others and your neighbors and yourself, eh, makakapunta ka sa better plane or better um, plane of existence o kung heaven man yan or whatever uh, place that you believe in the light, death brings you uh, no pain eh. Mm. Parang it brings you, it will bring you peace, it will bring your soul into much better place. Actually, ano babes, um, maganda lang itanong mo din yan kasi siyempre, many of us still think that death is the end and that's why we cry kasi it's hard to let go of people that we love and uh, of course, it means death means ano eh, it, 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 it feels like forever, hindi mo na siya makakausap, hindi mo na siya makikita, yung mga nakasanayan mo na is about to end. And sabi nga ni JL, uh, it, it should be uh, like yung sinasabi, yung mensahe ng Santissimo Merte is about motherly siya, it's welcoming, it's about a positive uh, insight about death. In fact, it's ano, a rebirth. Hindi ba? So parang tayo, di ba, pag uh, ipinapanganak, galing sa sinapupunan ng mga ina natin, para din tayong actually nagtatransition noon eh. So galing tayo din sa mundo, sa loob ng ating mga nanay, and then luma- nagtatransition tayo to the outside, outside world. So when we die, uh, parang ganun din, lumalabas tayo sa sinapupunan ng mundo ng mga buhay, and then ipinapanganak tayo sa kabilang mundo naman. And so if we have that ano, mindset, in, in a way, it, in, uh, it encourages comfort, it gives comfort to the bereaved. Kasi parang one day, of course, lagi natin sinasabi, makikita din natin sila when we meet again in God's time. And that, uh, yung, ako naniniwala ko sa sinasabi ni JL na uh, is another dimension. And we don't know yet, of course, uh, nandito ko lang tayo sa panahon ng science na we cannot explain the afterlife. But uh, we all feel na meron may, pin- may pinapatunguhan. And in fact, marami mga doktor when a scientist and nagsasabi that when 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 a patient dies may nababawas sa kanya may nawawala either weight or something yeah. uh sang di ba may nawawala and then yeah. may, yung mga apparition di ba JL hindi rin naman siya parang malikmata lang or parang yeah. imahinasyon totoo tayong meron talagang mga energy forms na nakikita na pag-uusapan natin actually as we go to details later oo oh, oh, um pwede naman natin pag-usapan ng ngayon. But anyway, dudutin uh, <laughs> ko lang sa iyo, Monch, ano? but then of course, yes. biblic- biblically, uh, as a Christian, uh, yes. meron din naman ganyan na, uh, uh, you know, uh, will come back or, uh, I mean, there's, go- there's definitely another space that uh, we go through and then ang sinasabi nga nila, we'll all come back and then we'll be judged, di ba, for the second coming of Jesus and all of that. But, in 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 the bible it says that it's not the end right <laughs> ganun din ang ganun din ang nakatalaga to no but it, uh, different uh, of course different religion has different iba-iba naman ang kanilang uh, sinasabi yung mga afterlife no uh, you are also a medium when you say a medium what does it mean you are the interceptor ng ng isang living and ng ng isang spirit Okay. Meaning, ikaw yung, yung way ng, yeah. ng isang spirit para makausap ang isang tao. Okay. Ba, eto, tatanungin ko lang, di ba marami nagsasabi yung mga ating kasabihan na pagka may nananahimik na ang isang, uh, ano, kasi pagka gano'n na spirit, we call them, right? We call yeah. them uh, and, and it, because somebody in the living wants to be able to get in touch with them. Mm-hmm. Ano masasabi mo para dito? Actually, that's correct. No, there are there are cases na if I don't feel or see the spirit dito sa physical plane natin or um, lower than sa ascension plane or hindi pa sila nakamove on, layman's term. Um, pwede natin sila makausap, but more than that, no. Kasi what I'm saying to them or explaining to them, hindi na natin pwede na gambalain pa, i-disturb na yung mga nananahimik na spirit. Unless, pabalik ulit tayo na nandito pa sila, they, are, they have unfinished business, they have a message to, to convey dun sa mga naiwan nila or sa mga mahal nila sa buhay. But other than that, um, hindi healthy na makipag-usap pa sa na, na, namatay na or na, namaya pa na. So, bakit hindi siya... Sige, sige, Vibs. Go, 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 go. Go ahead. Bakit, why did you say na hindi healthy makipag-usap? What are the parameters bago ka makipag-usap sa isang yumao na? Um, una, 
uh, dahil patay na yan, dahil spirits na lang sila, meron tinatawag na necrotic energy. Necrotic dead energy na pwedeng, kung if you're not used to it, if you're not trained to it, parang nakakadrain ng energy mo. Pwedeng uh, mag-attach na yung spirit sa'yo, pwedeng mali- mas maligaw pa yung spirit rather than magpunta sila sa dapat nila puntahan. And pwede na lang din maiwan yung isang spirit sa isang place na maging haunted yung isang place. Pero may sagot Ayan. din ako dyan, Monch. Eh kasi baka naman yes. ayaw nga talagang kausapin. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, I asked that question, Vibs, kasi JL, ano, parang ako kasi I always ano, looking at it with an open mind. In, in fact, marami kasi akong questions na gustong itanong sa kanila. And in fact, I bought a book about mediumship and uh, tinaturn ko pa lang yung page 1. Narandaman ko na sila. Kasi sabi ko the last, last episode namin, JL, kami, sabi ko, Meron din kasi akong, nakaramdam din kasi ako. And then when I always start reading that book, nakaramdaman ko sila sa paligid ko. As if while kami na, uh, hey, I, I we're happy na they're finally <laughs> uh, 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 access, accessing us, parang ganun. Pero just, kaya ko tinanong yung mga parameters kasi nasabi mo nga na baka may, may maligaw or baka may mga energy na hindi ka dapat matap, mapunta sa'yo and then makuha yung energy mo. And then, di ba sabi nga, pagka daw yung energy ng isang tao ay Uh, nawawala, mas kinakapitan ka ng possession from the evil entities. Yes, yes. can you talk uh, about it more? Yung mga ganyan, kasi marami sa atin, babes, yung mga nade-depress, at saka yung mga may sakit, at saka yung mga bababa ang energy, mas prone daw silang kapitan ng mga demonic possession and mga bad spirits. Yeah, that's true yung... kasi that's true kasi yung, yung, yung depression or Holistically, in ourselves, physical, mental, emotional, mo- motivation, or drive mo, once nabuta siya, yung, yung energy mo, yung aura mo, or yung natural protection mo, is um, mahina from, well, lahat naman kasi ng paligid natin is may energy. So, mas susceptible tayo to to uh, spiritual attachments, or, or sabihin, na natin, uh, sabihin na natin yung word na possession. It's not just about faith, okay? Sometimes yung energy din natin na apektuhan ng hindi naman necessary demons but other spirits lalo na kung you're very open, butas or open yung, yung energy mo. Kung ano-anong spirits na lang yung papasok sa'yo or pwede mag-influence or mag-inflict sa'yo ng kung ano-anong ideas or even total possession na nakokontrol ka na nila. So... Um, aside from faith, of course, you have to practice different um, protection things that you know, o kung ano mang, kung ano mang divinity or God that you believe in, is number one rule yun eh. Kasi <clears throat> mahirap yung mahirap yung napapasukan ka lang or nadadaanan ka na lang ng isang tao. Yung yung sa, sa situation mo, Raymond, kanina na you're open to it, yung yung pagbabasa kasi ng libro to mediumship is just a physical thing. Subconsciously, alam mo na sa sarili mo na nag-open ka na as a channel or as a medium for other spirits or unseen things. So, yan. Yes, so, actually. Monch, actually. so delikado pala yung ginagawa mo kasi kailangan meron ka muna mag-practice ka muna ng protection on how you yeah. protect yourself. Actually, yeah. nakalagay naman doon sa ano, prologue at saka sa steps is to always protect yourself with prayer and uh, ano, positive energy. Parang sinasabi nung book na yon na, well, at feeling ko naman lahat naman ng mga psychic yun ang i-advise, na never ever start mediumship or uh, communicating with the dead uh, under duress or under neg- ano, um, low energy. So dapat talaga masaya ka. Nakalagay kasi doon, ano eh, parang look at them as a, as pos- as positive being sa so parang wag masyadong judgmental kasi um in, pag, pag tingin mo sa mga lahat ng espiritu masasama mga malas uh yun din yung ma-attract mo saka parang hindi niya magiging mindset mo as you go to the journey ayan so gusto ko tanungin si JL uh sabi mo nga kanina nagmi-medium ka um, can you can you tell us more about doing this career of yours like ano yung mga ano mga unforgettable stories na encounter mo while doing mediumship or psychic work sa mga clients? Meron ka ba mga special stories or unforgettable ones to share? Yung mga first few years na nagsastart ako, I don't, I didn't know na I can channel 
um, spirits to to convey a message no kasi una there are feelings na sobrang bigat physically sometimes akala mo may back pain da lang pero a spirit is trying to penetrate your energy parang ganoon minsan akala mo um, nagsasalita ka na it's not you parang there are also spirits na uh, na trickster na bubulong lang sa on what to do what to say kaya there are cases na napakahirap kaya kailangan if you're gonna do this you have to be completely trained and completely protected with it um i have a case, first case ko before na tinatry ko lang mag communicate ko ano yung irerelay niya message dun sa family because this case was um murder so what would happen was i was in full possession that time hindi ko na uh, ma-control yung body ko lahat ng pain uh, ramdam na ramdaman na ramdam na ramdam ko from ko ano yung pinapakita and pinaparamdam sa akin ng spirit and naramdaman niya while she is being killed that time so after noon it was very traumatic for me kaya medyo huminto ako for a while reassess myself if this is really for me kasi napaka napaka dangerous niya kasi you might not know kung hanggang saan yung limit nung nung um, communicating with the dead uh, you know JL uh, napapanood natin yan eh, di ba uh, Monch and even in the US uh, you know some of the FBI <laughs> the police people are really uh, getting uh, mediums di ba to uh, to uh, communicate no and to help them out on how to solve uh, uh murders and mga ganyan you know so do you do that too to our pnp or yung mga ganyan um or private lang <laughs> oh sige hindi ko masagot <laughs> hindi kasi totoo yan munch kasi minsan na ah, talagang lalong lalo na kung talagang sabi nga daw nila na may talagang nagpaparamdam na malakas ang nagpaparamdam and the only way that they can do that is through a medium kung para malaman nila kung ano yung sick yung yung gustong message kasi di ba may mga ganong heinous crimes na nangyayari and then unsolved and uh, talagang dun sa bahay uh, meron akong alam na di ba may mga cases na ganyan na talagang uh, very uh, active yun, yung mga spirit because uh, siguro hindi sila mata himik and uh, they, you know they want their family to know what happened to them so talagang uh, maraming maraming open no even in the US ganun open sila pinapakita yeah. the mga FBI I minsan mean, yung mga police uh, force nila uh, they get mediums para lang uh, and and marami silang nasusolve mods marami silang nasusolve through that through their intercepting no the 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 message may mga may mga na solve kana JL <laughs> parang ano parang I'll have to pass on that <laughs> oh you have to pass on that oh silence means yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> hindi actually ano tawag to to yan dahil uh, ako yung yung second degree cousin ko I died uh, young at the age of 16 tapos medyo biglaan yun kasi um she went out with with her boyfriend kung bakit sino niya yung parents niya so makai sila ng ng motorsa ng motorsiklo na and then nabangga sila so namatay siya biglaan tapos nung nakaburol siya hindi siya matahimik kasi every time na nung nakaburol laging may tumatawag sa phone non-stop yung ringing tapos nung dumating mga classmates niya sinasabi and then ah, ganyan ba yun din JL yung ikukuwento mo kanina na naging client mo na about uh, yun, paano siya namatay pala ninaramdaman mo yung pain and everything if you don't mind sharing um yung lady kasi was tortured long ago. Ang matagal. Like how long? Ano ba to? Like decades? Uh, decades ago na. Until hindi kasi alam ng family niya kung ano yung nangyari dun sa, dun sa uh, relative niya. So ano, pero nami- nakita naman nila yung nakita naman nila yung bangkay ganun. Yes. Ina- Inilibing yes. naman siya. So parang yes. hindi lang wala lang closure sa part ng closure kasi orders. walang well both kasi yung yung spirit kasi was uh, hindi hindi alam eh yeah. na natapos na siya parang andun siya sa never ending pain na nangyayari sa kanya parang nagkakaroon siya ng time loop 
or paulit-ulit lang yung nangyayari sa soul niya. That's why um, yung mga psychics or paranormal investigators, mediums or healers should help some spirits na natatrap sa ganong classing cycle. Lalo na, for example, yung mga usual, yung mga na-accidente, they didn't know na they're dead. Yes. So, so so para ano yung nagwi-withhold doon sa ano sa spirit JL kasi um in the in her case ang objective ba niya is justice or uh does she want her family to know na I'm okay let me go so I can transition or naliligaw ba siya ano yung naging problem niya after that Justice sa kayong attachment kasi sa family eh na naging mm-hmm. clueless yung family until bakit siya umalis yung pala hindi umalis yung mga ganong ah. cases I mean, yun nga yung, ano, I think, uh, this is my belief, of course, uh, yun nga yung sinasabi, Monch, that yung, yung, yung mga napag-aralan ko din, uh, at least because the, the acceptance and the, uh, um, yung, yung, yung transcending to another level, meaning you should always be parang prepared, parang ganyan, the, you know, that's what they were saying, the you preparedness, kasi Monch, I think it's a, the most important thing that, you know, you should... You, parang parati mong isipin that you can go anytime and so wala ka nang dapat na iniisip na merong maiiwan or merong ka masasabi uh, uh, na, na makakalimutan mo sabihin so that's why they were saying while you're leaving uh, ta- talagang i-ano mo na yung, yung, yung transition mo to, to another if ever there is no? kasi uh, kung meron man ano? kasi parang Um, it is the acceptance and it is the ano that that makes you thou transcend to a more smoother uh, transition to that uh, next level no tama ba yon JL Yeah tama po kasi well mahirap naman talaga just sabihin na o basta handa na ako you know Uh-oh. lalo na kung marami ka pang dreams marami ka pang you know dapat to pa rin yeah. sa buhay but all of us are praying no parang Uh, let's keep an open mind na hindi natin alam ko ano yung pwede mangyari bukas. We might not know na hindi tayo magigising, you know. But we have all, always to be thankful na kung ano accomplish natin today and we love um, our, our neighbors or the people around us and always ask forgiveness every night. That's what I do. Um, and that's what I advise to people that I talk to. Kasi... Um, para hindi mahirapan, yun nga, mag-transcend yung, yung spirit. And hindi ka matatrap din dito at the same time kasi wala kang attachment. Wala kang iniiwan. Hmm. Uh-huh. So, so, so uh, teka, J, ano, JL, yeah. meron, meron talaga mga spirits na talagang they can't let go, no? May mga ganyan. Yes. Yes. Ah, nahihirapan. Na, kasi, like, for example, there are cases na um, matanda na matanda na siya and peaceful yung death niya pero minsan nagiging attached siya sa physical plane because yung mga anak niya for example nag-aaway-aaway because may mga naiwan siya na hindi uh, masettle ng magkakapatid this o baka may naiwan na kayamanan sa baul okay may mga ganon may mga ganong cases kung saan pinapahanap ng relatives yan kaya minsan um kailangan isipin din natin yung ano eh, yung uh, welfare din ng isang spirit or na mayapa na. Mm-hmm. I see. Well, parang, uh, meron kasing parang, ano, tama ba to JL? Difference between a spirit and a ghost. And yung natawag ni imprints. Yung spirit, yun yung parang mm-hmm. part ng pagkatao natin na nag-move on pag sa kabilang dimension once we find closure and acceptance that we're gone. And then yung tatawag ni imprint daw is ito yung mga parang ghost or ghostly apparition na isang mm. form of energy na nakakapit doon sa, sa location kung saan siya nawala. And sabi yung yung cycle na umuulit-ulit yung pagpapakita niya, maybe because the energy was so strong, nung nangyayari, albawa, siguro na-rape siya doon or may nangyayari torture or, or what have you. And uh, yun yung nakikita natin nagpapakita palagi, pero it's just parang hindi talaga siya spirit, it's just a form of energy. Totoo ba yun? Yes. Yung, yung imprint kasi is like a footprint. Yung footprint kasi physical siya na bakas. Imprint is an energy na nabakas din niya. Kung ano yung usual na ginagawa ng spirit or ano yung naiwan niya, yun yung imprint. Sometimes, um, if, if, you're, if you're doing paranormal investigation, 
we have to measure kung talaga bang haunted yung place by a spirit or imprints lang siya. Kasi sometimes, mas, mas, mas mabilis kasi i-cleanse yung imprints eh. Parang, parang footprint lang yan. Pwede mo naman i-mop yan eh. Not unlike spirits talaga. So, ganun lang siya. Um, there are also cases na nag-rock and share. Oo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oo. Oh, oh. Parang feeling ko, oh, may spirit dyan, ganyan. Sometimes, yung imprints na yun can make things move. Kasi yun yung nakasanayan na may gumagalaw doon. So, pwedeng energy lang siya. So, not necessarily paranormal o kakaiba. Oh, that's the big difference. No, I didn't know that. Akala ko yeah. pagka mayroon talagang movement or ano, tama, no? Imprint, that means yung, the energy, no? That's that's happening. But have you ever encountered uh, like a poltergeist na talagang bad or like violent? Meron bang mga ganyan? I mean, uh, there are there spirits na talagang bad spirits or good spirits? Di ba kasi parati lang sinasabi yan, di ba, Monch? May good spirit, may bad spirit. Meron ba talagang ganyan? Poster, guys. Yes. Pero hindi, nes- hindi, hindi lang poster, guys, ang nakakapagpagalaw ng, ng mga bagay-bagay. No? There are also wild trickster elementals na naka-encounter natin sa, sa cases. Pero... Ang misconception kasi lang tao na nangyayari lang siya sa mga liblib na lugar. Oh. It can also happen sa mga busy busy area kahit sa city nangyayari siya. Bakit kaya nangyayari 'yon? Minsan naka yung, yung energy natin is na na na-attract natin yung kapwa energy natin. If we're if we're negative, if we're feeling down, lagi tayong ganon. Na nakukuha natin yung energy sa paligid. Likes attract likes. Oh, okay. So, akala ko pagka yung madilim lang o yung mga lugar na, di ba? So, ibig sabihin, kahit on a busy uh, subway or in a busy uh, office or, uh, you know, talagang broad daylight, pwede ba yon? Na kahit yes. araw na araw? Yes. Ang, ang um, paranormal phenomena, hindi naman siya naman measure ng time eh. Kasi yun, yun yung Um, yun yung nasa isip natin lagi pagka yes. 12 na ayan na oh. naglalabasan na sila oh. ano oh. ano lang tayo nasa nasa pagka maliwanag kasi tingin natin we're safe we're, we're safe hindi naman tayo natatakot wala tayong nakikita but ang paranormal hindi siya nami-measure ng time Or probably it's your imagination hindi ba siguro pagka tahimik ka tsaka walang tao tsaka ano that's when you your your mind entertains and more aware of uh, the things around you parang um, pwedeng imagination oh. <laughs> or pwedeng ikaw din yung ikaw din yung uh, nag-aattract mismo nung fear mo kaya nagpapasukan sila oh so that Pero, means, yeah. pag, that, 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 ito, that means pag mas takot ka mas attract ka ganun ba yon yes yes mas uh, mas attractive ka sa mga trickster spirits actually Oh mm-hmm. my God, Monj! Okay. <laughs> Hindi, pero ano, G, how do you differentiate kung paranoia lang or totoo na talaga yung nararamdaman mo? Kasi, di ba sabi nung mga, uh, well, of course, yung mga non-believers, kasi nung sabi na what the mind wants to think, uh, mag-manifest. Mahirap i-debunk yun eh. Kasi, pagka may paranormal phenomenon ang dami mong pwedeng dap- oh, ang dami mong dapat sukatin eh if it's real or not eh like for example mga old houses <clears throat> pag nakakarinig tayo ng creaking sound sa wood yeah. karamihan would think na ay may naglalakad uh, may something eh what if scientifically merong malamig lang nilamig lang yung wood or nainitan lang wood so nag nag-adjust siya pwede naman ganon um Again, pwedeng imprints. Yung imprints kasi can make our minds create our own ghost eh. And yung pag-create ng ghost na yun, kaka-feel mo ng fear doon or ng energy of fear, minsan nabubuhay yung energy na yun. Well, I have encountered one talaga. Airbnb to. Hindi ko na lang sasabihin kung saan. Kasi they have a piano. May piano sila doon. Talagang, well... It was in the middle of the night or siguro mga 1 or 2 o'clock na talagang the, the piano started playing. 
So uh, I don't know if that's imprint or something, but you know we didn't investigate anymore. And we left the place. Yeah. <laughs> uh, na akong, ano, yun, even in New York, uh, it's a, it's a really nice, beautiful hotel. Pero yung Plaza Hotel in New York, na talagang uh, you know I was I was uh, you know in my desk, and all of a sudden there was some blood that dropped. And I look at the ceiling, that was part of my print ng, ng hands and things like that. I mean, those are the things that I have I have encountered. Marami pa, marami pa akong beses na na-encounter. Siguro nga, as you said, kasi takot ako. And, uh, yeah. and probably most of the time it's my imagination, you know. Uh, you know? Pero uh, talagang yun, hindi naman siguro imagination ko yun, ano? yung, yung mga, mga ganon. Uh, hindi tsaka beeps. Uh, uh, yeah, so, go Tama yung, tama yung sinabi mo, nakarelate ako sa'yo. Kasi when I went to Bangkok, and then, alam mo naman yung Bangkok, di ba, medyo infamous na napakaraming mga haunting. <laughs> and then, yung hotel, pagpasok ko sa kwarto, wala naman tao, pero para ang dami-dami-daming tao, para ang sikip. So parang, I, I was making my way to the bed, para sabi ko, but parang ganun, but parang kailangan ko makiraan. May heavy atmosphere. Ganun ba yung JL? Um, the more na yung uh, structure ay uh, luma, oh. Kasi luma. natatype kasi, kasi yung mga bahay tsaka yung mga gusali na pag luma siya, mas haunted siya. The more na maraming ano, uh, nagpapakita. Um, hindi necessary na ganun. Um, yung, yung feeling mo na nakwento mo is sometimes dense na energy or napupuno lang siya, hindi siya nare-release. So feeling ah. natin masikip siya or feeling natin mabigat siya. Pero there are also buildings or bagong buildings naman na think kahit bago makikita natin na may iba. Pwede natin i-trace yun sa ano ba yung naging uh, history ng lupa or ano yung pinagkalingan niya. Or kahit bago siya, pwede naman siya daanan ng ibang spirits or ibang entities from different places. Kasi nga, oh. sometimes, we be, uh, nagbibit-bit tayo ng sarili natin. So, nadadala yun. din natin sa isang place. Ah. Yun, yun yung okay. sinasabi ko. Baka naman dala-dala mo. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, may trivia. Sabi ng friend ni JL, na friend ko si Jello, mer- nakita daw niya meron akong, meron daw akong mga bit-bit na kailangan i-cleanse kasi yung mga nakasabit daw sa akin. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, actually, which brings us to the next topic kasi JL, uh, sabi mo nga, bawat isa sa atin may kanya-kanyang aura. Aura. Oo, yung aura. Oo, yung aura. Oo, yung kanya-kanyang energy. Yeah. Hindi kasi, um, baka nga yung mga kwarto na pupuntahan natin na feeling natin, medyo mabigat, ganyan, pinanggalingan ng mga taong either may bit-bit or may mga release na negative energy, baka may nag-away or may nangyaring something. And uh, meron din kasi tinatawag na ano eh, na, di ba, babes, pag nakakata tayo ng mga VIP, parang pag pumasok sila ng kwarto, kahit hindi mo pa alam na nandoon doon sila, parang may something doon sa room, parang nagla-light up yung room, parang merong isang malaking aura na pumapasok sa room. Can you explain us about our JL and the negative energies na kumakapit sa atin? I mean, how, how do we address that? Yung, yung auras kasi natin are energies outside our physical body. So para siyang balloon. So if we're sick, makikita yan ng isang uh, psychic uh, energy sensitive. Pag uh, you have different problems or even positive thing, mag-glow up ka sa someone who can see or who's sensitive enough. Um, yung, yung auras, it's like meron siyang hairs. Na, na, imagine a blue, uh, balloon, tas may hair siya sa paligid. Yeah. So as long as yung, yung aura mo is so bright, yung paligid mo could, uh, could uh, easily notice you. Kahit hindi ka sensitive eh, if yung, yung energy mo sobrang lakas, uh, mararamdaman at mararamdaman din nila kasi there are also people who are empaths you know mm, or babangga yeah. yung, yung, yung aura ko ay sobrang laki babangga sa aura mo so you would notice me so parang ganon so ikaw nakakabasa ka ng aura ano JL yes oh, anong aura ni Monge <laughs> 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 and ano ano aura ni Vince <laughs> <laughs> Di ba may mga colors ang aura? I mean, different yes. colors means different things, no? Like, mm-hmm. uh, what's what's a good aura? Like, uh, orange or violet, yung mga ganyan. Di ba? It means different. Colors means different. Uh, iba-ibang ibig sabihin. Of course, lighter colors are good uh, Good symbol or good ma- uh, meaning dun sa, dun sa aura, uh, aura health ng isang uh, 
ng ng isang tao. Okay. Eh, eh, na, ba, katulad nito sa Zoom, nakakakita ba ng aura? O it has to be, you can feel, dapat na-feel mo yung energy at nandito sa, I mean, technically, sa technology ngayon, hindi mo na siya ma-feel, di ba? Not necessarily. Kasi, oh, um, if you're clairvoyant enough, hindi naman kailangan maging physically present eh. Oh, okay. So, ayan. So, parang skill level din pala siya. May skill level siya. Yes. Na, para ma-master mo, ganyan ba yun? Yes, mm-hmm. yes. Nako, interesado na yan si Maj. Is <laughs> to <laughs> mag-master. <laughs> si JL ang master, di ba? And, okay. Uh, this is really, really interesting. Yung sa mga aura na sinasabi nila. Kaya pala pa... Well, you know, yung mga katatawanan minsan, yung mga joke, naku, sama-sama ng aura mo eh. Parang gano'n. Or the, the, does it mean that, uh, ikaw ba nakikita mo kung yung isang tao ay masamang tao? Or uh, do, do you see it? Do you feel feel or you see it? Feel and so, feel, sometimes see, gano'n. And most of Depend. the time you're right. It's right, pero doon ako napapagilitan ng, ng nanay ko eh. <laughs> na, na pagka nagkakaroon ng, ng negative something, yung new relationship or friendship. Sometimes kasi I practice yung benefit of the doubt eh. Kasi we have all, lahat tayo may light and darkness inside of us, you know? Yes, yes. Yung, yung, yung benefit of the doubt ko minsan, yun yung nagpapahamak sa akin. <laughs> Hindi, so, kasi minsan, there, there will be times and days na talagang, oh my gosh, you know, di ba? Uh, hindi naman all the time we're 24 hour, 24-7 positive, you know? There are things because yeah. we only interact with things that hap- that's happening around us, no? So, minsan talaga may time na talagang napaka-negative mo. Ako, parati ko, I always say in the morning, I have to be positive. Pero pag may nabasa na ako sa Facebook, makikipag-away na ako, di ba? Parang, parang gano'n watch or masisira na yung aura mo, di ba? So, but that doesn't mean that you are that person inside. Pero ba yun? change change ba yung aura mo? Yes. Um, for example, yung, yung, yung sabi nyo nga po kanina na pagkagising nyo, ang sinasabi nyo, I have to be positive. Yes. That's something na questionable eh. Kasi parang yung word na have is gusto mong itry. Oh my gosh! Why, yeah. why, not, uh, why not try to change it? I am it positive. That I, I am positive. I am loving. I am something. Is there uh, yung, yung mga simple manifestation, simple words that can empower or make us positive, yun yung nagpapag-glow up. Yun yung nag-e-empower sa, sa or nag-strengthen ng ating aura. I see. So, sapat pala talaga. I am positive. I am this. I, parang, parang, yung nga naman, ano, pag kasi habi mong I have, so it, it, that, it means it's, you don't have it yet. Parang ganun. Yeah. Parang ganun. Mm-hmm. Tama. Actually, para sa yung napanood natin documentary before in The Secret, the, 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 yeah, the, the secret, law of attraction. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the law, law of attraction. attraction. Yeah. yeah. I practiced that before. Napapractice ko yan. And uh, down the line, like 25 years ago or even 20 years ago, I used to have this board. Then I put all the, the halves and stuff like that. And one time, uh, you know... I, I was reading all my diaries. May mga diaries ako ng mga sinusulat ko kung anong, you know, the things that I, 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 I yung mga gusto ko. Uh, you know, ang daming yan, no? Ang daming <laughs> check, 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 check. Talaga. And uh, yung law of attraction, di ba, Monch? Uh, are you mm-hmm. following that? Yeah. Oo, parang sabi nga nila, ilagyan mo si isang wish, uh, parang board mo, na parang may imagine mo na yung mga dream, nasa dream list mo, lagyan mo lang dyan. Then magugulat ka na lang, ano, ay, nakuha ko na pala to, nasa akin na pala to. Kasi palagi-lagi mo siya nakikita, lagi mo siya nasa isip. So, uh, yeah, I think that so, works. Gusto kay JL, what about guardian angels? Ang mga guardian angels ba are spirits, di ba? Spirits and ano, ng mga mm-hmm. guardian angels. That, that guides you and that are those can be spirits of your old loved ones or ano ako may feeling ako kasi JL I have a grandfather who I'm very close to and uh, siguro twice or three times yun ako na say 
and uh, mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know why it's it, it's in my head that you know uh, he's always there to to help me out, to guide me when I'm in trouble and things like that. Uh, meron bang ganon talaga? Um, yung guardian angels or sabi na nating spirit guides spirit are not guides. necessarily angels. Sometimes nga yung yung mga departed loved ones natin chose to stay to guide us all through our journey in life. But there are also spirit guides na elementals or other spirits or something na, for example, um, you're, you're, you're an actress, you're a broadcaster, whatever. There can be spirits that are good in that na pwede kang i-guide na hindi natin alam. Sometimes uh, meron tayong inner knowing na nagkaroon ka bigla ng idea. Sometimes nagbibigay doon yung o, or nag-guide sa atin yung, yung certain spirit na yun that are good in that. Wait, wait, Pwedeng wait. wait. We, have to, we have to pause for a break. Ang ganda-ganda ng ating subject. Babalikan lang, babalikan po natin ito. Alam mo, kulang niya tayo itong isang ano natin na Ang natin kay JL. Nakakalibre tayo ng session kay JL. Anyway, we'll pause for a break. <laughs> How many times have you thought of changing your roof because it's old and it's leaking already? But you always postpone it because you think it will bother your daily life, your normal schedule. Now, you don't have to leave your house to change your roof with Instastructure's add-on roof. It's as easy as we just put a new roof above your old roof. It's called add-on roof. You don't get bothered at all. Before you know it, you'll have a new roof on your heads. And since there are two roofs, It's cooler and there's less noise when it rains. For your add-on roofing needs, call InstaRoof by InstaStructures, powered by Jacinto, with 64 years of roofing experience. You can even buy online. Just go to our Facebook page, facebook.com slash InstaStructures, or go to our website, www.instastructures.net, where our online sales assistants will guide you. For inquiries, Call our hotline at 0947-917-3232. I repeat, 0947-917-3232. Join Arnel Doria as he explores the world of travel, transportation, road safety, and the environment. Tune in to Good Trip every Saturday at 1 to 2 p.m. on Radio Bandito TV, Channel 224 Sky Cable, TV Plus Boxes, Digital Free to Air, Channel 29, Facebook.com slash DZRJ 810 AM, and YouTube Channel DZRJ 810 AM, Radio Bandido. Fierce, fast, and on the go. Reporters Hour, hosted by Errol Dacame. Meet the fearless reporters of Teleradio Bandido TV. Celestino Jojo Sica, Vance Fernandez, John Manapas, Jimmy Mahusay, Felix Tambonco, and Romel Madrigal. During a crisis, you need timely and up-to-date reports on Radio Bandido TV daily, plus on Reporters Hour, 12 noon to 1 p.m. Except Tuesdays on Channel 224 Sky Cable, TV Plus Boxes, Digital Free to Air Channel 29, DZ DZRJ 810 AM, Facebook.com slash DZRJ 810 AM, and on YouTube channel DZRJ 810 AM, Radio Bandido. Chit Chat with Double V with host Vivian Velez is a program that breaks down important national concerns events and stories featuring newsmaker interviews and compelling features to add context clarity and answer the questions on your mind every sunday from 5 p.m to 6 30 p.m on radio bandito tv 
Channel 224 Sky Cable, TV Plus Boxes, GMA Afforda Box, Easy Box, and all DTT Boxes. Simulcast on DZRJ 810 AM. Seen on Facebook slash DZRJ 810 AM and YouTube channel DZRJ 810 AM Radio Bandido. Okay, we're back. Uh, uh, Maj, uh, itong ating uh, napaka-interesting na itong ating mga topics natin. Ano? We'll ask uh, JL, JL to come back again. And uh, meron ka bang babatiin muna, Maj? Ah, yeah, ako ano, well, happy birthday din sa friend namin si Trish na nag-birthday last Friday. And uh, of course, happy birthday kay Paul P. Sassman mo, Bims. Happy birthday din. <laughs> <laughs> Alam mo, sabi ko sa kanya, bakit nag ka ng isang bisita na ang pangalan Paeng? So, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, nag-imagine ng kanyang bisita. Yes, happy birthday, of course, to my husband. Poppy, happy birthday. Love you. Ayan, cute. <laughs> anyway, yes, and hi to, of course, si Bear Platon, who's always watching and uh, listening to us. Hi, Bear. And yes, JL, yung ating uh, nakabimbi na nabitin na, na tayo dun sa ating mga nag-guide, no? sa ating mga, yung mga guiding spirits natin around. So it doesn't have to be really someone that you're close to? Parang ganyan? Yes. Um, we ourselves can also channel guides na makakatulong sa atin. Eh. Um, for example, I am a healer. I can also ask... Yes. Um, Saint uh, Raphael or other saints that can do healing. Or Reiki masters who have already ascended na can also help me with with uh, my healing cases. Pwede ganon. For, for different professions, you can also ask spirits na to intervene dun sa professional life ninyo. We'll talk about that Reiki. Uh, uh, that Reiki is it's really a Japanese form of healing, di ba? But we'll talk about that. Uh, gusto ko lang balikan muna. So, kasi maraming, uh, maraming, of course, you know, we always need guides and we always need at least somehow, you know, uh, na may makakatulong tayo. And uh, and it's nice to know, maraming nga nagsasabi, oh, may guardian angel ka, you always have to call on to your guardian angel. Or it, sabi mo nga, it doesn't have to be an angel or, or or something but as a christian that's what they call it that we always have a guardian angel that's very biblical and then sabi nga nila may mga pangalan para yung mga ating guardian angels but then in in another in, in another form meron naman yung mga iba of course yung sinabi mo mga guiding spirits or guiding saints no yung mga yung mga sinasabi natin ano uh, how do you call on them I mean, how do you ask them to to participate and help you out or you just say it in prayers but well easiest way is you can um call them by via prayer pero kasi if you have a deep connection mm. with that spirit guide or that guardian angel may mga ibibigay sila sa yung symbol eh. that is very uh-huh. personal to you and even yung name nila na personal lang sa yo na from then yung yung pangalan nila or yung symbol nila yun yung yun yung gagamitin mo to call on on that uh, specific uh, spirit guide or guardian angel ikaw ba monge meron ka bang ganyan i mean have you tried or yeah. what uh, well, actually sabi ng mother ko kasi when she was pregnant with me uh umakyat siya sa bundok dito somewhere in Quezon and uh, uh ang sabi noon meron daw duwende na sumabay sa kanya and uh, ever since uh, parang she felt na naging companion ko yung duwende na yun. And uh, a few years ago, nung pinyasahan ako ng isang psychic, uh, she mentioned about that little creature na kasama ko palagi. And uh, that uh, guide, spirit guide, and ano, true, true enough, nagiging guide ko siya. I've been in too many near-death experiences and lagi ako nasa-save. Yung feeling ko dahil doon sa spirit guide na yun. Oh, Okay. Well, that's nice, you know. And then everybody can, you know, uh, si JL, marami ka bang, ano? marami kang guide, you know. <laughs> they um, they're full of counsel. <laughs> <laughs> Parang, ano, there are, yun nga, sabi ko nga, there are guides with specific um, uses. Yes. 
I so see. it's not really an army of guides. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. So, uh, yeah. Oh, oh. Like yung healing. Yeah. Okay. Let, uh, go ahead, Monch. Meron ka ba tanong? Yes. Like, ano nga, parang kanina, she, you mentioned about the biblical concept of guardian angels and then si yes. JL sinabi ito ko yes. sa iba't ibang entities. So marami kasing concepts, I think, ng ano ng mga spirit guides and ng mga uh, entities, mga paranormal. Pero... Lagi lang naman, ang bottom line naman, lang naman doon is yung positive at yung negative and how to attract the positive and how to repel the negative. Uh, JL, and then, ang, ang ma-advise mo dun sa mga tao na para hindi nila ma-attract yung mga negative energy is to, ad, ano ba, what, what are the steps in uh, attracting the positive and repelling the negative? Um, generally, um, you can just visualize white light coming from the heavens, going up down to your, your crown chakra and covering your aura, covering your whole body with a, with that what white light. But if you're if you're a Catholic, you can call on Saint Michael, uh, Saint Benedict yeah. for for evil spirits Prayers. and um, yung mga possessions or witchcraft or ganon. To whatever religion there is, kasi lahat naman merong uh, corresponding guide or saint or divinity na we can call on to protect ourselves, you know. Or uh, yung mga crystals, for example, we can also wear that kasi it's natural naman. So there are energies that can protect us. Yung mga dark uh, colored crystals can repel negative energy. Okay, but... Yeah. So, okay. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, ano, Dugtong ako lang ni JL ng mga crystals kasi yung, that, yung head writer ko sa ABS, uh, ang dami yung crystals and the uh, yung nagbibigay sa kanya, yung nag-advise sa kanya noon, is that uh, it attracts negative energy. Sumusu- may term eh, sumusuka yung crystals ng negative energy. Yung pag binabad ko, sinuot mo siya, and then it ad- it absorbs all the negative vibes and even sickness. And then pag binabad mo siya sa isang solution, nagiging black yung solution. So sinasabi, yun yung mga negative, ano, um, mga sickness, mga negative vibes, kinuha niya from your body. So tama yung, ako naniniwala ko sa sinasabi ni JL, na mag- magkakaiba yung konsepto, may religion, for the atheists and for the na- animists, for the naturalists. Pero uh, ang bottom line talaga lang is ganun nga, may positive at saka neg- and, and negative. Okay. Uh, bago tayo yung, Ricky, yung mm-hmm. kanyang killing kasi it's very important. Uh, ang daming, uh, um, you know, they wanted to find out about this. Pero um, gusto ko lang tanungin, what about the law of karma? Let's say, kunyari... <laughs> Kasi marami. I, I wanted to talk about that because, you know, it, it's really part of life. Um, ano, what, what do you think of the law of uh, yung karma, yung karma na tinatawag natin uh, minsan? Do you, can you be able to, uh, let's say, uh, get away with it? Meaning, uh, you know, if you've done something bad, uh, what do you think about karma anyway? You cannot get away with karma. <laughs> You know, whether what ritual you may know, yes. kahit ano bang practice yan, lahat ng, ng kahit occultism, lahat merong yeah. notion of karma. Okay, so you there can't are get no such thing as to cleanse karma. Merong mga ways to hasten it para hindi ka na maghirap on the future or on your next lifetime. So parang pabilisin mo siya, papahirapan mo na yung sarili mo ngayon. Meron mga ganong bagay. <laughs> so, pagbabayaran mo na siya ngayon, parang, yes. uh, you, you, but somehow, you still really have to pay for it, di ba? Yeah, yeah. Oo. Well, uh, yun. So, guys, yung mga nakikinig dyan, kaya, you know, uh, that's why tinuturo sa atin to be good because sometimes karma is real and uh, you still have to, you, you have to pay for it. Somehow, di ba, Monj? You know, yeah, yeah. And uh, magkakaiba yung konsepto ng karma, eh, no? pero sinasabi nga ni JL, uh, um, totoo siya, regardless of what you believe in. And uh, sooner or later, you will pay for what you've done. And uh, there are ways to uh, to hasten it. And uh, sometimes you really have to be good all throughout your life. So that's it. One next after life mo para maganda pa rin. Hindi ka magiging mariri-incarnate bilang isang hayo for somebody na super malas <laughs> sa buhay. Oh, man, diba? Because... But- <laughs> But sometimes some people doesn't even know that they're doing harm. Parang mm-hmm. ganon. And some people are like, uh, you know, well, ito, katulad niya, pagka minsan may mga trolls tayo. <laughs> Naku, ano-ano mga sinasabi. 
manong babastos. Minsan talaga, you know, sabi ko, parati ko na siya sabi, makakarma din kayo. I mean, you know, and, 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 and yun po, ah, wala pong ano, ah, walang, walang ligtas sa karma. Sabi nga ni G, wala daw ligtas sa no karma. One. So yeah. you really, so no one, because I thought, you know, there's this, some rituals that you can do and then, you know, to, ano, the, the karma. O yan, wala po talaga. So, you know, at times you always have to be aware of your surroundings and, uh, you know, not to uh, create uh, uh, hurt, no? I mean, painful, ano, whatever sa, sa mga tao. And, and that's good. Okay, I want to, to concentrate now in, in your healing because this is what you do, no? Um, paano itong healing na to? Ito yung mga uh, sa, sa katawan or sa, sa utak? Um, with Reiki healing kasi, it's something holistical. Holistic siya na physical, mental, emotional, even spiritual aspect of your life can be balanced by Reiki uh, energy. Okay, so how did you get into this? How did you get into uh, Reiki? Um, yun, ha, while having my journey sa, sa paranormal and psychism, I met a Reiki master and he has been so generous to attune me and teach me the uh, yung, yung Reiki healing. Kasi there are, ano, there are three levels of Reiki healing. Yes. Yung first level of Reiki healing is yung um, you have to practice self-healing muna before healing others. And then level two is you will learn how to use uh, the emotional and the mental symbol and you will also be able to learn how to send distant energy healing to other people and then in level three is you will be able now to teach or share yung reiki healing then to others so sabihin, you can um, attune them and make them also reiki healers para maging continuous yung ripple of uh, healing sa ibang tao so do you teach now jl yes i've been teaching for a decade na din po Oh, alam, kailangan matutot pala tayo kay Jay. Uh, <laughs> no, because it's really something, uh, a gift. I mean, I think it's also a gift, di ba, JL? I mean, I think uh, kahit naman pag-aralan mo rin siya somehow, there's, sabi mo nga, there's a level of uh, kung how effective, di ba? Kung, kung meron mga gano'n na, talagang mga magagaling and, and, and gifted, no? Uh, yes. Uh, oh, so, Doing healing naman kasi is not necessarily for others, eh. Okay. What is important is also to heal yourself. If you cannot do it for others, yourself, your pet, your your loved ones, your relatives, pwede namang ganun lang eh. Ano ang session yan? Mga ilang session yan? How do you, how do you get into it? Uh, I mean, meron bang uh, hours of, uh, of teaching? Um, we have sessions of uh, Reiki workshops depending on the level, but it only takes one day for you to know the theory and the achievement itself. Alika Monj! <laughs> <laughs> Actually, ano tawag, Vibs, ano, yung friend namin, ano, parang sabi sa akin, ako daw, sabi mo nga, di ba, may mga taong talagang may gift for healing yes, and sometimes yes. may mga indicators uh, yes. para masabi kung uh, may potential kang maging healer. And I was told na pagka yung kamay mo, yung palm, yung palm mo, merong cross, may Tama ba? Cross. Pag may, may prominent cross dyan. <laughs> ako kasi meron. So, may, meron ka daw, ano, uh, parang ayun, pwede kang maging healer. Totoo ba yun, <laughs> um Depende kasi sa ano eh. Depend, well, ako, I don't know if may cross ako sa kamay kasi hindi naman ako na-measure as ganon. Um, everyone is welcome with Reiki. Wala siyang dinedebunk or wala siyang uh, tinatanggal na kahit anong belief. Kasi it's not religion-based healing. Yes. It's like Buddhism. Yeah. It's not, yeah. uh, it doesn't conflict with any religion, di ba? It is True. a practice. Yeah. It's, a, it's a practice, yes. So, yes. Uh, so, uh, so pagka, pagka merong interesado dito, paano ito, JL? Do you have a Facebook? Do you have a page? Or do you have a, a, some people who wants to get into this? Or baka nga sabi mo, most importantly would be self-healing, di ba? I think, you know, we said, uh, uh, you know, uh, if you have a, ano ba to, psychologically also healing them. Yeah. Also 
everything, everything. Um, we have a uh, quarter, qu- quarterly we organize workshops for Reiki healers. If you wanted to learn Reiki, on December 11, kasi we will have Reiki Tuna, kasi we just had our attunement for level one. So probably next year we'll be organizing another batch of healers for for Reiki. So you can just message me on my Facebook, it's JL Manalili, or on my Facebook page, it's JL Manalili Psychic Investigator. Okay. So, count us in. Pwede ka ba mo? <laughs> December 11. <laughs> Sige. We'll Ayan, nice. so yung mga nakikinig nating listeners all over the Philippines, and all over, yeah, so uh, whether it's the radio or sa online, ayan, uh, ayan po, meron pong upcoming seminar ang ating guests, Mr. This JL is going Manalili. to be in Manila. Yes. Oh, this is going to be in Manila. So, yes. um, have you? Uh, papano ba ito? Uh, yung sa atin, no, when we talk about the the physical body healing, um, ito ba yung? Ah, uh, uh, di, di ba meron tayong mga healers na tinatawag? May mga iba ibang klase, di ba? Yeah. So, oh, but this one, how different it is from from the others? Um, with great key healing, kasi yung Reiki itself is very intelligent. Hindi mo na kailangan ng mga kung ano-ano pang pausok or something or mga Latin na binabasa or whatnot. Or mga, um, mga herbs. Yes. Sa Reiki kasi you would just draw it physically or mentally, the symbol itself, and hayaan mo lang mag-flow as a healer through you papunta dun sa healing mo or dun sa patient mo. So you don't use any any uh, other gadgets as you can they call it like well metal gumagamit metal metal pa rin ng incenses or uh, other um, yeah crystals music uh, incense or different elements that I can use to amplify yung energy na na pinapasa natin do sa isang pasyente or sa isang healing or sa isang recipient ng healing so this is also has to do with the you, your chakra na sinasabi nila the, the the block the unblocking of your chakra chakra would be the energy diba parang ganon kasi yes. nisa, so, can you elaborate on that kasi yung explanation of the the energy flow yung chakras kasi are energy centers um na nakakalat sa katawan natin seven major chakras is from the head third eye throat heart uh, solar plexus mo sacral and new root chakra those are the seven uh, basic um, chakras na meron yung katawan like for example um, sa, sa US um, they welcome Reiki na, na for example meron kang heart ailment it's not necessarily just the heart eh. pwedeng nasa energy mo lang yun minsan nakocure siya nababalance lang yung heart chakra and then it alleviates yung heart uh, pains mo or something not the major one, siyempre. Pero it also helps you uh, recover better. Okay. And um, do you have anything to say about yung nangyari dito sa COVID? As a uh, parang meron bang, ano, it has something to do with, ano, what, what, meron ka bang, wala naman? Um, yung COVID kasi is a wake-up call for humanity eh. Okay. It's an eye opener for everyone. Uh, I don't know it's, if it's something spiritual or something that you have to get back on something with yourself. Yeah. Or back to basic somehow, you know? Yes. It's, it's really. Because uh, all of us are in a reflective state. Eh. Correct. Correct. Because you know, there... it's spiritual yung sa akin, eh. Parang, you know, the shock of uh, everybody stand still, everybody, uh, lahat. I mean, it was like a shock to me. Siya para din siyang, ano, it's para siyang cleansing. Cleansing din siya, um, uh, figuratively and literally, di ba? Parang lahat tayo nag-start from, uh, parang nireboot yung buong mundo eh. And, yeah. and tayo din as human, human beings were uh, made to uh, raise existentialist questions about our life. Where do we go from here? What did we do wrong? And uh, hopefully we change for the better after that. Tama yung sabi ni JL is uh, we should look at it in, in a positive ano, uh, mindset then. 
Yeah, because para talaga siyang reboot. I mean, ako, it, I mean, it changes my mindset somehow on how I see things now, especially when it comes to material things. Na parang, yes. kung nangyari noong two years ngayon, parang, you know, everybody's, everybody's like, uh, okay, you know, uh, uh, sabi ko nga, I, you know, mas mabuti pa pala yung mga tando sa taong nasa bundok, you know, na meron silang mga halaman at may mga vegetables silang naitanim at kung ano-ano. I mean, they're better off than the people in the urban areas diba, na, na wala silang uh, halos uh, wala, I mean, you know, if the, the groceries or ano, wala na silang supply. Where are they gonna go? I mean, water supply and everything. So sabi kong gano'n, oh my gosh, back to basic and... Uh, uh, that that's what uh, it has done no? so spiritually somehow uh, i was asking jl kasi kung if it has some, something to do with uh, you know with the other with the other uh, medium or something uh, yeah, Mon, Chikao, do you have any question we're down to four yeah minutes. actually and a very interesting you scope and services in jl like sabi mo kanina they could just contact you sa jl manalili yes. sa facebook or sa jl manalili sa investigator na facebook page mo so aside from um, right healing workshops and the uh, other paranormal. So, ano pa ibang mga services? Kasi nabanggit mo, uh, uh, na- alam mo namin that you also do carto- cartomancy. And uh, can you tell us more about that? Just yeah, I, the I do tarot reading. I, I do tarot card reading. But I just don't, alam mo yan, hindi ako nag-flip lang ng card and tell you things that you wanted to know. It's like a therapy for me that I read your past, um, no past life, yung mga nakaraan sa'yo until the present. For you to understand what will you, what will happen in the future, okay? It's some mm-hmm. uh, for me. It's a therapy that it can guide you on towards your your future or into dunsa endeavor na dapat mong tahapen. Uh, Reiki healing, uh, paranormal investigation, house cleansing. Um, since I'm into occult and esoteric arts, I also do rituals to help other people alleviate ko ano yung physical problems na meron sila. Okay, one last question ko lang kay, uh, kay uh, JL is, uh, uh, you know, it, it, October 31 and uh, All Souls Day on All Saints Day, meron ba talagang festival sa, <laughs> sa mga spirit all around us? <laughs> or, or do they, tika sa sabi nila, di ba, All Souls Day tsaka All Saints Day, that's it, the time na parang uh, nag-open, di ba? Parang yun ang sinasabi nila, that is the myth. Is that true? Um, Malaking, um, ano ba, if napanood natin lahat yung Coco, medyo yes, close siya to reality na yung bail is nagkitin para mag, mag-meet ulit yung, yung living and yung relatives natin. Kaya importante na mag-tirik po tayo ng kandila and offer them some prayers then para lagi natin sila maalala. And maalala din tayo and give us guidance while we are still living. Okay, mm-hmm. so that is the... Oh, oh. Yeah, Kaya, yeah. Ah, Totoo no? so, so, oh, Bakit on that oh, day, man. bakit naman sinabi na November 1? Or is it because everybody is coming together and, uh, and and having that pray and that force gives us more uh, parang ganon na, na uh, as you were saying, opening it. it doesn't, date doesn't say anything, right? Um, it's really the, the force of everyone doing it, parang ganon. The energy of everyone doing it. Meron din po kasi explanation yung date and yung date. time of the year na yon Kasi nagkakaroon ng astrological event na uh, nagsasama yung mga energies ng different planes. Ah. So it's a long topic to. Yeah, yung mga planets yan. Long topic. So kailangan pala talaga po. So we'll have to take it ano, somehow. Magtirik po tayo ng mga kandila. Kung wala po kayong time to go the, to sa, sa cemetery, at least in your own homes, and then, uh, you know, say a prayer to your uh, loved ones that passed away. So yun na, pwede na, mas import, importante na rin po. Pwede na po yun, di ba po? Okay, any final yes. words, JL? And yes, we ano, J- Punch, we have to yeah. see JL. We'll have to have lunch <laughs> or dinner or whatnot. Okay, JL, please, your okay. last thing. Um, what is important is lagging prayer to to whoever to whichever you believe in. Um, that is the the major thing that you can do to protect yourself, to to guide yourself, or ask for healing. Then, so 
um, you just have to let it. Learn it, experience it, and teach it. Wow, thank you. Thank you, JL and Monch. Do you have anything? I just want to say hi to sa ating yung, sa mga WWP BAM kasi after this, I'm going to have a uh, a meeting with them and uh, hi to Dansky and uh, Fernand, uh, Ferdinand. And yes, Raymond, uh, do you want to say anything? Yes, thank you, uh, babe. Stay tuned to our guest, JL Manalili. And of course, uh, dun sa mga uh, listeners natin na uh, curious to explore uh, the, the esoteric arts, the paranormal science is, uh, yung nga, sinasabi natin na uh, always okay. guided by prayer and okay. to keep it with an open mind. And maraming din sila sa lahat naman nakikinig. Yeah. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you so, so much, JL. But of course, this thank is you so gonna, much. definitely, we, we will see you. Monch and I will see you soon, okay? <laughs> uh, you know, uh, marami kami itatanong pa sa'yo in, in a personal <laughs> capacity natin. Well, sure. thank you so much, everyone. Thank you again, JL. Mon, thank, you so much. thank you so much. We'll thank see you. you again next Sunday at mag-ingat po tayo. Malakas pa rin po ang ulan. Bye-bye! Bye! The views and comments of the host